Hi everyone. I wanted to post a kind of a short video because I recently played a game called We Become What We Behold, and I find it very interesting on a lot of different levels. Um, primarily, I find it very um, interesting how it can teach you something very complicated with um, through a game. And I think that educational games, especially ones that um, allow you to play with complex systems, is very, very valuable. Um, while I don't really want to get into like the political or um, legal ramifications of the game itself, I did want to talk about how um, the game basically incentivizes you to take pictures that are um, interesting. And um, by using those pictures, it tends to basically feed on itself and create a system that is destructive. And um, I, I highly recommend that you sit down and play this game. It takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes to finish, depending on how fast you are at it. Um, but I found it very interesting as a way to use games to teach people how complicated systems actually work. Because if you write down the system, like how it works and how you can affect it, if you write it down in a long sheet of like a long list, a long Word doc, nobody's going to read that. But if you have just a very simple interactive system that you can play with, you can, you can very quickly see how the patterns form and how this kind of stuff comes, like, comes into form. And I think that that's very important. And I know that Extra Credits did a, um, did a talk about something like this. And I'll, I'll try to find that video and link it in the description below. Um, but I highly recommend you play this game. I, I, I would do like a let's play of it or something similar, but that really kind of takes all of the, um, the personal experience away from playing it. So I, I highly implore you just to play the game yourself um, because it's really interesting to see how the game really kind of manipulates you. Um, not only because like the system, the, the, the game itself incentivizes you to um, take the pictures that are um, that incite people, but um, the the game doesn't really get any farther, and it kind of pokes you if you if you just try to take normal pictures or people being happy or something like that. It's it seems very interesting how just a very simple game like this can manipulate you into doing bad things. And um, that's that's not necessarily to say that this will like cause you to do bad things, but it's it's it talks about it talks about how this cycle, this news cycle, kind of came to be, and it might not be completely accurate or anything like that. Like I said, I don't really want to get into details on how all of this came to be, but it's I just found it very interesting, and I and I really hope that you take the time to actually sit down and play this game because it's. It's very interesting, and I found it very, very cool how it works. And um, since the game is kind of depressing, I'll give you a little cat for your troubles. You guys have a good afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.